In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Google's Gemini 2.0 Flash as an incredible data analysis for your SEO. That's going to help you make data-driven decisions in terms of what you should do next, what content you should write, what's working for you, and what are the things you can do to get more organic traffic to your website. You see, one of the most important things with SEO is to understand data and to be able to make data-driven approaches with all these numbers that we have. But if you're like me, allergic to numbers, this can be a little bit difficult to do. It's great having all this data for queries and clicks and anything like that, but it's very difficult, at least for me it is, to make then this into actionable insights. Thankfully, these days we have really, really smart language models that can do this for us. And Gemini 2.0 Flash, which you can try for free in Gemini Studio, is really smart at this. And it's also very smart at this because you can allow it to do grounding, which you can give it real-time access to the internet, making this even more incredible. The tools here that we're going to use are all free and everything I mentioned, such as the prompts or how to access anything, will be in the video descriptions below. If you don't know me, by the way, my name's Nico. I run an online community, the AI Ranking School community, where we simplify SEO and we help you maximize your search engine optimization, helping you rank your website number one with AI tools and automations, much like the ones I'm gonna show you in this video. If you're interested in joining a community where you're gonna get a lot of support and you're going to learn and you're gonna get a lot of valuable content and templates on how to be able to do this, use AI tools and use automations to rank higher, and improve your SEO, I'll leave a link to the community below. There's a premium and a free community. You can start with a free community, see if it's see if it's for you, and then you can join us in the premium community where you're going to get a lot more support, two weekly meetings, um, and, and enough assets and resources to help you rank your website. So firstly, there's a couple of things that we need to do. You're going to, if you haven't done so, you should create an account on Google AI Studio, and you're going to click on create a prompt, and we're going to have the Gemini 2.0 Flash model selected. And you're going to make sure you have this button at the bottom right corner here, go grounding. And then you need your, your Google Search Console data. <clears throat> when you log into your Google Search Console, if you don't have one, you probably should get one. It's really important for your website. You're going to go to Search Results. And here you can see that I've filtered the pages by anything that contains blog in the URL. Therefore, I'm just looking at the data that is being brought in by the blog post. You can do all of your website and it's easy. You just, when you log in, you won't have this kind of filter here. So this is everything that's being brought in. The issue with that is that you're going to have a lot of branded queries coming to your website. And I want to know everything else apart from my branded queries, what's bringing some good results from my website. So I'm going to filter here by blog post and this is all the traffic over the past three months that's, bringing, that's being brought in, excuse me, uh, exclusively by the blog post. And you can see here that I've got some queries and I've got some pages and I've got some regular data. That's great to see, but you know, great, what do I do with this? I'm going to export this data and you can do, you know, more than the last three months, but for this website, that's more than enough because it gets sufficient traffic that the data is rich enough to help me make decisions over the past three months. We're going to click this export button here and you're going to download as a CSV file. This is going to give you a zipped folder with several files inside it. You're not going to need every single file. So we're going to open this here. And there's a couple of ones that we're going to use. We're going to use uh, queries, pages, and search appearances, right? I'm just going to put this to the side though. And we're going to prepare our Gemini 2.0 for the task that we're going to give it. This is the prompt that we're going to give it. Uh, let's go through it a little bit so we understand what we're actually asking it to do. So we're telling it, I'm going to provide you with a Google Search Console data, which primarily reflects performance metrics from the blog section of my website. So if you're not doing the blog section of your website, make sure you remove that from the prompt. I'll leave this link below. Don't worry. I want a website contextual analysis. You need to focus on the website, so we'll give you the URL. That's why we added the grounding feature at the bottom. I want an analysis of the Google Search Console data, and then I want some actionable insights, right? So summarize the findings from the Google Search Console data in clear, actionable format. What's working well and why? What needs improvement? And then here's the most important one. 
content ca category recommendations. Based on the analysis, generate comprehensive list of content ideas. Focus on building on past success. So we want to see, well, historically, this is what's been working. Then from this, suggest some ideas that might work for me that I haven't written about. So I'm going to copy this whole thing. Again, I'll leave access to this so you can make a copy in the video description below. I'm going to go to Gemini, uh, Google AI Studio, sorry. I've got Gemini Flash Experimental. There's a new model here uh, that we can try, but that doesn't have access to grounding. And this is smart enough for what we're trying to do. Make sure you've got grounding selected. We're going to uh, give it the prompt here. And at the end, just make sure you add your website there. I've added it there. It's blurred just for security reasons. And now before I hit enter, I need to provide it the data. So I need to go back to my selection here and I'm going to go search appearances, queries and pages. You can do countries, dates, devices and filters, but I don't really think for this purpose that data is too helpful. And if the data isn't too helpful, I don't think it's a good idea to include it in there. I'm going to just drop these here and you can see that it's starting to load them. Great, so I've got the pages, the search appearance and everything else. You can see that it's using a, quite a few tokens to be able to process this. Thankfully, the token count is around 1 million for this, so it's more than enough. I'm gonna hit run. Okay, perfect. And now, remember I've given it the data, so it's got some understanding of what's performing well for it. I've selected the grounding section so it understands what the website's all about. Um, and if we say here, based on the domain, um, it's got particular emphasis on gaming PCs related to hardware, a big presence, yeah, perfect. So it understands what we're trying to do here. Uh, da, 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 da. Google Search Console data analysis, the top pages, the top pages by clicks, predominantly a blog post related to heat management and gaming laptops, that's great. That's one of the blogs we did, by the way, completely with AI uh, about how to manage high heat in a laptop high impressions, click-through rates, top queries. This is what we want and it's analyzing all that. Temperature related queries, power consumption, selling PCs, how to build PCs. So it's understanding what tends to be working really well for this. Search appearances, da, 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 da. actionable insights. This is what we wanna do. What's working well, right? This is great, out of all that data, we, we can have an understanding of what's actually working well for this. Gaming laptop heat management. This is a major concern for the audience and content addressing this performs well. Power consumption of gaming PCs. Users are interested in, in how much battery electricity gaming PCs consume, DIY. What needs improvements? Product snippets, great. Um, and then notable trends, high concern of gaming laptops. Yep, whatever. Content recommendation. Here is the gold that we can really place to good use content strategy recommendations. Here's a breakdown of ideas categorized to maximize topical authority. That's the idea. We want to become the topical authority figure within our niche, right? Gaming laptop heat management. Content ideas, the ultimate guide to gaming laptop cooling, everything you need to know, troubleshooting overheating laptop, a step-by-step -step guide, do cooling pads really work, testing, solutions, best gaming laptop cooling solutions 2025. Perfect. So we really want to maximize and squeeze that content that's working really well. Um, power consumption, building your own PC guide. This is really, really interesting. I kind of wouldn't have thought of this and it's quite a smart idea. So best gaming PC builds for under 1,500, for under 2,000, for under 3,000. That's really good. And I'm sure if I do some keyword research, I'll find some search volume for that. Amazing. Um, how to choose the right case for you, great. Where to sell your gaming PC in Australia? So it understands where we are as well. Fantastic. Um, yeah, content ideas. This is getting quite specific now. So monitor panels explained. IPS versus VA versus TIN. Yeah, so it understands the time of the date as well. It's for 2025. I really like, honestly, most of these ideas. Incredible. And then we have evergreen content. <laughs> Yeah, this is really good. How to maintain a gaming PC. Maybe we could do like a whole guide. Um, yeah, what to do if your PC is running slow. Content optimization. So it's telling me to update all the content articles for the latest information and optimize relevant keywords. Yep, that's fine. Fairly broad, but still good information. Emerging trends, content ideas. So the future of gaming, um, how to leverage AI in gaming. That's a great one. Cool. So already within... 
a couple of seconds but giving it good data i've got enough to work with that i can go out and now do a little bit of keyword research to make sure i integrate the right keywords there and i've got all these content ideas that i haven't written about that i know is probably going to work really well because of the historical data shows me that my audience has been really interested in this so i should kind of go and write this stuff i really like the evergreen content ideas that it gave me so yeah really simple but really effective. I think this is one of the best ways to use this kind of data to make sense of the mumble numbers that for me, at least they're really like a, a soup of all these kind of data sets that I don't really, it's difficult for, for you to kind of process into actionable insights. Let really smart data do that for you. So try it out, go to Google AI Studio, select Gemini 2.0 Flash, download your data from Google Search Console, select pages, queries, and search appearances from the downloadable CSVs that it will give you and use the prompt below that I've provided for you. And yeah, then if you want to know how you can write all this content really quickly on mass and SEO optimized, then I've done a lot of videos for that, but you can also join the AI ranking school community where we've got a lot of resources showing you how to do that. Even in the free community, AI ranking free, we have in the classroom section uh, here, the content automation, and that'll get you started into how to best write content with AI that's going to rank well as well. Um, and yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know. And if you like this video, consider subscribing and giving this video a like. And if you want me to use Gemini 2.0 Flash or any other things from SEO, just leave it in the comments below and I'd love to make that for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.